are back on Facebook Live and streaming on Zoom. This is uh, LLS Winebow Imports Vin Italy at Home. I'm Massimo Servimini, and uh, we are now traveling back to Tuscany, this time to another medieval town, this one called San Gimignano, located, as you can see here, very close to the city of Siena. San Gimignano is famous for the towers that still stand in this hilltop town uh, and has been famous for hundreds of years for an incredible white wine made from a grape called Vernaccia. Uh, in 1960, when the denominations in Italy were finally created, uh, Vernaccia di San Gimignano was one of the very first white wines that achieved DOCG status. Uh, today, we are visiting with Isabella Vecchione from San Querico. Uh, Isabella's grandfather started the estate in the 1800s, and uh, it is my pleasure to have you here with us today, Isabella. Ciao. Ciao. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Likewise. Hi to everyone. I am Isabella Vecchione from the San Querico Winery. We are located in San Gimignano and uh, we are um, beginning to the, the, the farm is born in the 1860, thanks to the Vecchione family, my family. And now I am the third generation on wine producer. Um, we have, I have worked with my father for a few, few years and now I work in the, in the vineyard, in the salon, and everywhere with uh, my uh, friends. The quality of the land in San Gimignano is uh, optimal for the cultivator or the wine, thanks uh, to the position of the hills, and also for the geologic origin of the soil. The soil composition is uh, sandy or sandy clay stratification. In this moment, uh, our vineyard is extend for 11 hectares and uh, we have a few different kind of grape. The most important for us is the Vernaccia di San Gimignano for the producing of the Vernaccia white wine and the Sangiovese grape that we use for the Chianti Colissenesi. But we have also uh, another kind of grape, um, Merlot, Syrah, Cabernet Sauvignon, that we use for the DOC of the San Gimignano. Oh, now in this moment, uh, you can see our vineyard. They were, they they're very cloudy, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you can see the spring on the vineyard is just born. This is a Vernaccia, Vernaccia di San Gimignano. Up every field, we have the rose trees. <laughs> it's a very beautiful in May when it's born all the flower. <laughs> Okay, now we can go inside for the presentation of our wine. Fantastic. I actually started a little bit uh, late on Facebook Live, so I'm gonna share my screen again, Isabella, and just show everybody we, where we are at right now. So okay. we're in central Tuscany uh, in San Gimignano, a medieval hilltop town. Uh, very close to the city of Siena, that's famous for its towers and its white wine, Vernaccia di San Gimignano. It also happens to be within the Chianti Colli Senesi uh, denomination. And today we have with us today Isabella Vecchione from San Quirico. Grande Isabella, dai. <laughs> Perfect. Now, my presentation of our wine. For the first, we start with the Vernaccia, Vernaccia di San Gimignano. In this moment, we have the Vintage 2019. Oh, 
it's a very important all of our product is organic we start in the 2000 with the organic method we obtain the organic certificate in the 2004 by the 2004 we produce only organic product uh, the Vernaccio of San Gimignano in our winery is produced with a 100% of Vernaccio grape. We prefer to use only the uh, Vernaccio for to have the most typical product. Mm. Um, the Vernaccio have a, a very strong yellow color. The parfum is fine first instant uh, with the intensive uh, flower and fruit note. For example, of peach, pear, and apple. Then um, we produce a vernaccia with a traditional vinification. We pick in the grape by hand. Uh, we separate immediately the juice by the skin and we uh, put the juice at the um, cold temperature near the five degrees. This is for five days for to have the first sediment and clearing of the juice. Then we put inside the yeast and we start the fermentation of the wine. Usually the fermentation during for 13 days and at the end we clear again the wine and I feel ready for to go to bottling. Our Bernaccia stay all the time for the affinement in the cement tank. In our cement tank, we have the possibility to control every time the temperature. And for the white wine, it's so very important. The second wine that you go to import is our Chianti, Chianti Colisinesi. In this moment, we have the vintage of the 2018 our Chianti is produced with a 100% of Sangiovese grape. Also, the, the vinification of the Chianti Colisinese is very traditional. We pick in the grape by hand. Uh, we put together skin and grape in the tank for the fermentation. Stay for uh, 10 days inside of the skin the juice for the during the fermentation and uh, every day we go to put three batonage for to give the color of this wine then we separate the juice and uh, we put in the tank inside of the cellar for the malolactic fermentation. The Chianti usually we age for 10 months, one year in the wood barrel. We use uh, uh, wood uh, um, French oak and we have a three different sides. Mm. The bigger for 23 hectoliters. You can see under me. <laughs> That's a big barrel. Yeah. And uh, another two sizes for 15 hectoliters or the tonneau barrel for 7.50 hectoliters. For example, the 2018 is aged in the tonneau barrel for 7.50 hectoliters. The color is uh, very dark. <laughs> Rubin red, very intensive, and a part instance is the aroma of the wild berries. The taste is balanced with the 
very big structure. The Halco go never over the 14, 14 and 15 percent. This kind of wine is so very excellent with a red meat and a cheese, aged cheese. Okay, I don't know. Well, that's fantastic, Isabella. Thank you so uh, much. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, I have some questions for you. Um, one, one of the first things uh, that I think about when I think about Vernaccia um, is, is really there are um, a couple of different places where it does well. One is San Gimignano and the other one is in Sardinia. Um, what, what are the, how does Vernaccia, in your opinion, act differently between the two places? Okay, the Vernaccia of San Gimignano and the Vernaccia of the Oristano is two different breeds. And um, it's born of two different kinds of wine. Vernaccia of San Gimignano is a white wine that we use to drink uh, Every day, uh, you can drink the fish, shell fish, for example. But the Vernaccio of the Ristano is a similar like uh, uh, our Vincento. Mm. The alcohol is so very heavy, and uh, mm, I I don't know, but uh, it's not very simple to drink. Uh, with me. <laughs> right. It's almost oxidized yeah. too, right? Yes, 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 yes. And um, is it so is more similar to the sir wine. Absolutely. Yes. Interesting. So In it, we have also another kind of a vernaccia, the Serra Pretona, but uh, is red. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> because it's a three different kind of breed. Of course. Very Italian, call them all the same thing, right? <laughs> the same or, name. Right, or take the same thing and call it different names. <laughs> um, so tell me about um, how Chianti um, from Colisanesi uh, might be different than Chianti from, you know, some of the other places, uh, Colli Fiorentini, or, um, you know, Rufina, Rufina. Yes, Chianti Classico, Chianti, Chianti con i Fiorentini, con i Pisani, con i Aretini. Uh, in Tuscany, we are full of Chianti, but uh, every different area gives a different name because the, the Chianti and every wine um, take a very big difference by the zone of where it's producer and also have the different disciplinary in all the different area usually change the percentual the minimal percentual of a sangiovese you must go to use for to produce this kind of wine yeah. for example in the chianti Colisinesi, we have the minimum of the 85 percent Right. And but for example, I don't know, um, the Chianti Colli Fiorentini is changed in the 18 or the 75. Usually is a minimum of the percentile of the difference. But uh, you can have the two different kinds of wine. Right, right. So interesting also that there was a time when you could not make Chianti as 100% Sangiovese like you do today. There was a time when you no, had to use it, other grapes, yes? Yes, we have also another three international grape, but um, my father started to prefer to use um, the typical grape, the typical Tuscany grape for to produce this kind of wine. Don't like the blend. <laughs> 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 you don't like the blend. Uh, and um, I take the same street now. <laughs> sure. I prefer to take the same street because uh, we have uh, a, a good uh, product uh, with uh, this method. Uh, the, for example, the Sangiovese have the possibility to 
come older to aging in the wood barrel for a few, few, few times with a any problem. And uh, the people like this product. Agreed. So these are relatively new labels for Sun Queen. Yes. Can you, yes. can you actually move them a little closer to the camera, starting with the Vernaccia? It's a beautiful new label. <laughs> it's news because uh, we have used for it, the Italian market, also for the United States market in the 1860s. No, I'm sorry, in the um, 2018. Right. For the first time in the 2018, yes. Beautiful. So you can see the towers of San Gimignano down at the bottom of the label. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic design. The skyline of San Gimignano we have put up. It's the skyline we can put it. We can put, for example, on the label the picture of the San Gimignano. Sure. <laughs> but you can do that, a drawing of it, let's say. Maybe you have. Yes. Fantastic. What, uh, what's the typical cucina like in, uh, in San Gimignano? What are some of the specialties that you might find there, you know, as opposed to other places in Tuscany? San Gimignano, you can eat uh, the Siena food mm -hmm. and also Florence food. Ah. Because you can eat the very beautiful Fiorentina, and uh, but you can uh, eat also a lot of uh, selvaggina. Come si dice selvaggina? Non lo so. <laughs> oh, uh, cinghiale, cervo. Oh, like a wild boar game. Let's yes. say. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. More typical of the part of Siena. And cervo is like a type of venison, a kind of deer, yeah. Yes, yes, because um, we have a lot of um, this animal <laughs> yeah. and, um, in all the restaurants you can eat it. Fantastic. Yeah. Any new projects As for San Quirico? Uh, anything uh, coming up that, that you guys are thinking about doing differently? Oh, uh, our project uh, we have uh, to we have just uh, go to plant uh, two parts of the vineyard. And uh, also the next uh, year, we go to plant again and to, because we have a lot of part of vineyard that is uh, very old. Mm. And uh, we go to plant again at the vineyard. Fantastic. Yes. Because uh, we have uh, 11 hectare. But uh, we must go to minimum of 15 if it's possible. Oh, great. <laughs> great. And what do you have to do different in the vineyards uh, because you are certified organic? What, what, what can you do and not do, more importantly? Um, in the vineyard, we can use only organic product. And we use sulfur and copper. Right. For everything. Sure. Uh, for example, now we have just uh, to go um, in the vineyard for two times because uh, the time is changed and uh, we go to rain and uh, we have to start uh, just to time with the copper and the salt. Uh, so it's important to do the treatments after it rains, yeah? Yes. Yes. Interesting. Every time. With organic method, uh, this is a problem. Sure, sure. Because every time when we go to rain, all the pot go down, and uh, we go to start again. All right. The A real but, uh, labor here, of we are uh, on the hills uh, in uh, 250, 300 meters sure. on the level of the sea. And it is um, perfect. We haven't a lot of problem. It's simple for us to use the organic method. Right. <laughs> and 
And Isabella, would you recommend, uh, can, can you age these wines? Can you age Vernaccia or is it best consumed earlier? No, 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 no. The most important characteristic of the Vernaccia is the possibility to come older. Uh, we have in the cellar the Vernaccia of 2008, for example, is a 12 years old. Wow. And uh, it's fantastic. I bet. The Vernaccia, for example, also the 2019, you can drink also the next year without any problem. Sure. Without any problem because of the structure, the acidity, and the alcohol in the wine give the possibility to come older without any problem. Mm. And for the Chianti, <laughs> we go to bottling never after one year. Right. Because of the minimum for the Sangiovese is one year of age. One year in Colesanese. It's yeah. a very tanning. <laughs> sure. And not possible to drink when it's so very young. What is the oldest bottle of uh, Chianti that you have in the cellar? Uh, we have, uh, we don't produce this, uh, the reserve for the Chianti, mm. but uh, we have uh, some bottles of the, also for the 2000. Great. Yes, yes. And sometimes uh, we go to open the bottle. <laughs> Fantastic. Particular dinner. Mm. So um, I look forward to enjoying these wines and especially the older ones with you sometime in the future. Um, I want to thank you for your time, Isabella. This was really um, fantastic. We should have been in Verona together, but we got to spend a little bit of time um, and, and a lot of our wine bow and LLS family was joining us as well as so many others on Facebook Live. I really want to thank you for doing this and, and wish you and your family the best. Um, thank you so much. You're welcome and thank you so much to you. Grazie mille. Grazie mille Isabella. See you soon. Andrà tutto bene.